Hey there. So you want to be a field service engineer? Congrats. Well, you came to the right place. Uh, I'm John. I'm a field service engineer by profession. So I wanted to make this video because I have uh, friends that are still in the Navy and they're getting ready to transition uh, to civilian life. And a lot of them have asked me, what is it that I do as a profession? How do I still get money and get paid? Um, well, I want to just put this on video that way in case, I don't know, other guys out there are having the same question. They might not necessarily know me, but at least this is going to be an, a little bit of insight for them as well. I want to share with you guys what being a field service engineer is like for me. Um, I started with my current company back in 2020. Uh, of August, so I haven't been a field service engineer for long by any means. However, uh, being a new guy, someone new to the field, um, I think there is a lot of information that I've learned so far that I can share with you guys. So even before we get into it, if you find this video helpful at all, please share. Um, we have a lot of people out there that are getting are in the military, getting ready to get out, uh, transition in. A lot of them might not even know what they want to do. They have all these great technical skills, but they don't know the necessary path or that they want to go down with. So that can be really helpful to you. Also, if you don't want to share, give me a thumbs up. Um, definitely helps out and goes a long way. Thank you. First off, I'll cover my background um, and how I came to be a field service engineer. So I was in the Navy for six years. Uh, I was a fire control and stationed on the uh, West Coast uh, did two deployments and I got up to be an FC1. Um, I have a lot of technical background as well as as I ranked up, started developing more leadership. Um, I ended up being LPO for my division of about 30 or so on an aircraft carrier. I worked on ship self-defense system. Um, so shout out to all you FCs out there. What is a field service engineer? So a field service engineer is someone that maintains, installs, deinstallations, repairs, um, equipment. So it can be various different types. You have different types of field service engineers. Me specifically um, into my field is biomedical. I work on biomedical equipment. So we have a lot of hospitals, we have a lot of research uh, facilities, colleges, universities that use our equipment. Um, now, although the equipment is very sturdy, as we all know with electronics, stuff happens, stuff goes bad. So whenever that happens, uh, I'm the one that actually goes to the location, uh, gotta go on site, and I actually try to repair or complete maintenance um, on that equipment to get them back up and running. The significance of that job is one, it can be very time sensitive. Um, for me specifically in my field, I'll use this again, working on biomedical equipment. A lot of this equipment's used for cancer research. Um, so it can be, it can have a big impact and time is of the essence for some of the customers that maybe um, so necessary skill sets that you need for this job one you have to be pretty independent uh, being a field service engineer now again this is very specific for my company it can be different for everyone i don't know how it is for everyone else but for me you have to be extremely independent one you're in charge of your own schedule so you get i receive my work tickets at the beginning of the month. Now they're really spread out. Um, but usually at the beginning of the month, I'll get my work tickets. I'll start reaching out to customers and figure out when and where I need to be at what time. So you have to be able to manage your time extremely well. The other skill that you definitely need is be somewhat technically inclined. Uh, what that means is you're kind of familiar with how a technical manual works, um, where to find necessary like parts, uh, tools, directions for taking things apart, putting it back together. Um, it's a lot of technical work that you're going to be doing as a field service engineer. After all, you're the person that when stuff goes bad, they're calling you. Uh, going from my Navy background, we 
would be on the ship, something would go bad. If we can't fix it, at least we have another lifeline. We can call someone to get help if need be. At this point, you are that help. So it's important to be very technically inclined. The skill that you should have is you need to be a self-starter. Um, obviously, you're going to get your workload. But the thing is, if you just schedule the minimum amount of stuff and you're kind of lollygagging around, per se, to get the work done, it's going to bite you in the A. Uh, why? Because, again, electronics, stuff randomly breaks. So you can have a random repair that pops up and, oh, you didn't do all this work that's been waiting. There you go. Lesson learned. So definitely being a self-starter is very important. Now, the mighty question, pay. Now, this isn't something I can really answer, but I can give you a lot of factors that can be taken into account uh, when you're considering pay. Uh, one thing to consider, obviously, is your base pay. Uh, so you want to be at a good, obviously, you can negotiate. So take that into account. Uh, second thing is benefits. So a lot of the people coming out from the Navy might not necessarily know a lot about benefits, uh, how that process works. So definitely do your due diligence and get in there, ask someone more senior if you're looking at a new company or you just got hired and find out more information about all their benefits and what they offer. Uh, I'll give another example. I just found out about HSA a couple months back. And this is something for my company that it's very great because they have a match. If you're going to be traveling, so some field service engineers might have to travel their local to a certain city, but they might have to either fly or drive a lot. So you might get per diem for using your own car, or you might get a company vehicle as well. Uh, both are awesome because at the end of the day, it's less money out of your own pocket. Favorite part of my job for, honestly, it would be between the travel and just the perks of the job to begin with. Um, and by perks, I mean the overall, it's not necessarily just the pay that I take into account. It's all the stuff that I'm getting on the back end that, excuse me, that I am not paying for uh, out of my pocket because my employer covers those things. Um, so travel, I've definitely been to a lot more cities within a year than I've ever been in my life. I can honestly say that. Um, some people that might be a good thing, some people that might be a bad thing. It all depends on your cup of tea. I do like to travel, I do like seeing new places. So I thought to me, that's a great opportunity. Um, as we are starting to expand, I'm not traveling as much, but again, I'm in a new city, I'm in a new state. Or at least that gives me time to enjoy at home. On the back end, you have perks. I'm not going to go into full detail because again, perks can be different depending on your company and all that jazz. So that's not too much of a significance. But for me, definitely finding out how much you're not paying out of pocket for certain things uh, to your daily expenses and stuff that you use, that can kind of offset and help out on your salary. Lastly, what I recommend this job. Yes, uh, I would definitely recommend this job, especially for anyone that's getting out of the Navy. Uh, again, I'm speaking only in terms of my company that I know. Uh, for me, it's been probably the best job I've ever had in my life. I can honestly say I have no regrets about getting out. I was a little bit worried with COVID and everything, but getting out and having this job and this opportunity, I. Yeah, there's nothing better, if I can honestly say that. Um, so I hope I answered or at least gave a lot of good insightful information to anyone out there that's considering being a field service engineer. If this was helpful, consider again subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and share. Share with your other friends, uh, anyone that you know that might be interested in doing this kind of profession. Uh, not a lot of people know about this, I don't think. I didn't know about it while I was in high school or in college, to be honest. I didn't find out about this till I was almost getting ready to get out of the Navy. But it's definitely a good, good career move. So yes, I recommend it. What's wrong with finding Jesus, huh? What's wrong with that?